you can see that we're going into the left lane, which is really smart by the FSD beta because the navigation is not taking us that way. Don't want to sleep in because I got something to prove. I got to take. Okay, so here are the release notes. As you can see, this is the FSD 12. Dot five. So this is the newest version. This is 2024.20.10. What I actually like, I've never seen this before, this little section down here, upcoming improvements. So we can see that earlier and more natural lane change decisions are coming. Vision only driver monitoring with sunglasses. So if you remember from my last video, it will pop up. When I put sunglasses on, it will tell you like, hey, you got to shimmy shake the steering wheel now because sunglasses are detected. And then also end to end on highway, which, oh man, we've been waiting for that for a while. And then also everybody that has a Cybertruck right now, especially those that have paid for FSD are definitely excited about that last note there, FSD on the Cybertruck. We did recently purchase a 2018 dual motor performance model three, and that does have FSD as well, but only in our hardware version four, 2023 model Y did we get this 12.5 update. The 2018 is still stuck on 12.3. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have an older version running uh, hardware version 3 or 3.5 if you are also stuck on that 12.3, because I think 12.4 and 12.5 have only gone out to those of us with a hardware version 4 car. All right, let's jump right into a test drive. Okay, so this is my first test of 12.5. You can see attention monitoring uh, did pop up there. I did lift up my sunglasses for that. We have a couple destination points set in here. Um, and I'll also show you now, I'm gonna put my sunglasses down and then you can probably see it'll pop up here, sunglasses detected here in a, in a moment. So attention monitoring, unavailable sunglasses detected. So it will be nice when attention monitoring, even with sunglasses, um, is available like the release notes said. So again, this is my first drive on 12.5. So you are going right along with me and I try to make this uncut so you guys and all the Tesla haters out there can see just how well this performs. And I hope 12.5 does deliver on that promise. Coming up to a stop sign here, blinker comes on perfectly and we are gonna make a full stop and then creep forward is what I'm anticipating that this 12.5 is gonna do just like the previous updates. We get a full stop and then it is a little bit challenging to see this way down the road. I'm turning my head now to look, it is clear and the FSD does go. Now it's not tricked by this extra bike lane which previous software updates were tricked and it did go in there. So excellent job by 12.5. Now because we do have a red light here, it is gonna treat it like a stop sign come to that full stop and then creep forward. Creeping forward now, we do have a warm up lane. So all the traffic is in that far lane and we can go into this closer lane here. Looks like the FSD does choose to go. There was a little bit of a break there with a uh, bigger truck and smooth right turn. Now a lane change coming up here, left turn signal comes on and immediately gets over. Excellent job. Left turn signal comes on, we're getting into this left hand turn lane at this traffic signal. Light does just go from green to yellow and now red, so we are going to make a full stop here waiting for the light to turn green. Just a yield arrow here, so we do have to wait for this oncoming traffic. FSD is creeping forward a little bit into the intersection, I do like that and I am set to assertive. I know I forgot to mention that earlier in the video. It did open up and it is clear and the FSD did go smooth left turn there. Excellent job. Transitioning now over into this right hand lane. And at this roundabout, it does look like we're gonna veer off to the right. And we see that we're in a 
right only lane so we won't go through the roundabout at least for this test should not stop here slows down perfectly excellent job now, if you watch all of my FSD videos, I did do the same destination point. So I did that purposely so that you guys can see and go back to, um, I want to say it might've been version 11 or it was like a 12.1. Um, uh, and you can see exactly how, uh, it might be nice to overlay both of those, uh, on this particular stretch of neighborhood street to see if we can notice any noticeable differences between that previous version and this 12.5. So oncoming traffic here, we do need to stop, which it does. Left turn signal is on, traffic goes past, and it does make that left turn. Excellent job. Left turn signal does come on, and it executes the left turn. Now, one thing that I did remember in one of the previous updates, it tried to make a UE up here and got really confused and drove onto the curb. So let's see if this 12.5 is a little bit smarter than the previous version. So our destination point is straight ahead. It does look like it's making its way down the circle. And it does come to a full stop, not on the curb. Really nice to see that. Now it looks like navigation ending in 25 feet and it looks like it just took off and making a U-turn here. So we don't end up with what we did before. I'm going to push my foot on the pedal like we reach our destination. Um, and then I'm going to put it in park so I can go like this and continue trip. So that'll take us to the next spot. Uh, now what I do want to try out is this parallel park. So I'm going to go up a little bit here and see if another spot will pop open because we can see that gap here is where we can park and back there it was giving us a parallel spot in front of somebody's driveway. I think it just had to do with where the car was. Let's see if it gives us another spot in front of this car. So it does in front of or behind the car. Um, so let's try this parallel park out real quick. Coming up relatively smoothly. A little bit of correction needed there. That didn't show up in its original tracking. And now coming back and parking complete. So we're in park. I would like to see it almost throw an option out there to go into park mode once you reach your destination point before it kind of paused for a second, thought it needed to go a little, a little bit more, but was able to complete the U-turn back there um, in the video. Let's continue on now to our next destination point, which is already in the map. So foot on the brake, pulling down the drive stock. I'm gonna wait a second to wait for the steering wheel to come up. Steering wheel's up, single pull down, and off we go. Full stop here at this stop sign. Now we're gonna creep forward. It's a bit robotic, no traffic, and smooth right turn. Following a golf cart here, which it doesn't know how to depict it. This is definitely one of the edge cases. Oh, too bad we're not going to follow it. So it did depict it as a car. We're making a left turn here. No traffic, full stop, and it confidently turns out of there. Excellent job.
that's super smooth around those curves here, you can see that we're going into the left lane, which is really smart by the FSD beta because the navigation is not taking us that way. Although this point is this little uh, community park right over here. So I love that the FSD is kind of taking it into its own hands to get us close to the destination point. Let's see if it does turn in here. And yes, it does. That is excellent. You can see the navigation is showing like, hey, we can't drive in this area. We're going around. So here comes a bike. Let's see if it does stop. And it does. Excellent job by the FSD. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, and again, right here, I would love to see it go into a park mode. So I need to put my foot on the brake and that's when these parking spots come up and then I can tell it to park. So again, I just wanna reiterate, the navigation is too dumb to realize that the parking lot is here, but the FSD is smart enough to realize and made two turns that the navigation did not tell the FSD to make. And it was smart enough to find the parking lot at our destination point and park us. Really excellent job, very impressed with the 12.5. Let me know in the comment section if you have tried previous software versions that didn't make turns on its own outside of what the navigation said. Parking's now complete. What we're gonna do is push our foot on the brake, put it back into drive. We have our last destination point in. We have two different route options. I'm gonna pick this route here and I'm gonna have it pull out of the parking spot. Very confident in this parking lot, pulling out rather quickly. Now coming up to the stop sign, we do have traffic across from us that is turning right. It is clear and it does make a smooth right turn. have to give a huge thank you out to Man Cave Colorado. Man Cave Colorado is a detail shop that offers ceramic coating along with window tenting and paint protection film. I got my personal car done here and they did a fantastic job. If you have a cyber truck, I really suggest going over to Man Cave Colorado. The owner has been experimenting with his cyber truck, so they are definitely the experts. So go to mancavecolorado.com right now to schedule your appointment. Right turn signal comes on. We are transitioning over here into this right-hand lane with a stop sign that isn't visible yet. Now it is visible and it did pop up here on the center display. Full stop, creeping for visibility now. And we do have no traffic coming from the left and it does make that right-hand turn. Excellent job by the FSD. Left turn signal comes on. We are gonna transition over into this left-hand turn lane. This is a four-way stop here. So coming to a full stop here, it is our turn. There is a cyclist coming, but no need to stop. Excellent job by the FSD. Right turn coming up here to enter into the parking lot. Very smooth here. Nice job. A car over here, a truck with a trailer. No hesitation by the FSD, not throwing it off at all. Coming to a stop, this is not a four-way. We do have some cross traffic going right now. It can go since it is in assertive and it does. Excellent job. It does come up with a left turn here, which is incorrect. So I did just praise the FSD a little bit for being correct, but you can see here that our destination is Chase Bank up here, and so the FSD was trying to turn left, and you can see how wrong the navigation is um, to try and get us to our destination point. So overall, pretty decent, um, and it's not perfect, but definitely, I would say an improvement over previous updates from what I can tell in this short initial test. I'm excited to see here if you guys have a non version uh hardware version 4 vehicle and you did get this 12.5 update uh definitely let me know in the comment section below because like i said in the beginning of the video our 2018 model 3 with hardware version 3 does not 
have this latest 12.5 update. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.